Dr. Don Sinclair, you're a public health consultant. We just heard you speak. And what is it about this product that impressed you and why you think it could really be a, a very important tool in our hands? Thanks. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this chance to, to tell you about uh, my self-care and uh, these the wonderful technologies that uh, Kishore and Lena have been uh, demonstrating tonight. I think one of the things that, uh, that they've done is, is that they found a way to make technology a part of normal life in the same way as people's smartphones, fitness trackers, the sort of technology that people are using in their day-to-day -day life and feeling comfortable with. And what they've done here is they've got uh, equipment to measure blood pressure, blood glucose that could be easily used by uh, motivated, um, motivated patients because they're able to look after their own care and see their own results and indeed share their own results with uh, whoever they want to, be it uh, a member of the family or, or even a healthcare uh, practitioner if they want, they can have confidence. So they're able to take control of their condition and make the adjustments in their own lifestyle that they feel they have to make. And it also allows, if somebody's a little bit vulnerable, it allows um, a loved one to keep an eye with their permission and make sure that their results aren't deteriorating. Now, that's great for the person who's using the technology, but if there's a patient that you as, a, say, a GP or a, a, a nurse would, ha would feel that you, you needed to see quite often, perhaps a patient who finds it difficult to get to you or, 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 or doesn't engage very well with the health system, if that person's prepared to use some form of portable technology that uh, he or she can, can take home, that monitor monitoring can be done, results shared with whoever the patient you know, trusts to look at them, and that person doesn't have to attend clinics in the same way. You only need to intervene then if the results start to deteriorate or if the patient wants a bit of assurance. But all those appointments that are not being taken up are now available for other people, perhaps those people who are not so well able to manage the technologies themselves or who would prefer a different way of managing their condition. <laughs>